artists behind these songs don't like the drugs, but the drugs like them. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 anti drug songs. I seen the needle and the damage done. For this list, we've narrowed it down to songs that explicitly condemn drug use, as opposed to songs that either celebrate it or simply talk about it. Number 10, Iron Horse, Born to Lose, Motorhead. He rides a road that don't have no end. This isn't the only time these metal legends have discussed the dangers of drug abuse in their music, since they talked about heroin addiction in their 1979 song, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Ten years before that, they used this song to talk about both drug addiction as well as when frontman Lemmy was rooming with the then president of the Hells Angels, which is the basis for the metaphor of the Iron Horse. Lemmy explores a user dying from a drug addiction by looking at a life as a biker in the Hells Angels. Number 9, Night of the Living Bassheads, Public Enemy. With lyrics condemning the late 80s crack epidemic in the States during the era of Ronald Reagan, this track from this group's classic debut album is one of the best examples of classic political rap music. I put this together too. The bells of those that boost the dose of lack of lack and those that sell the black. Shame on the brother when they dealing. The same block where my 98 be wheeling. More specifically, the song tackles the impact of crack on the African American community. Hey yo, I'm not a drug dealer, man. Yo, get off of me, man. Get off of me. Has ever happened yeah, to you man. before? The song itself is great but the video is possibly even better, styled like a TV news channel doing a story about the crack epidemic, with a commercial added for good measure. Number 8, Suicide Note, Part 1 and 2, Pantera. Pioneers of groove metal have been known for their dark imagery in their music, and these two songs are no exception. Written for the band's second last album, these songs talk lyrically about a man on the verge of killing himself thanks in part to addiction to pills and cocaine. Their pretty powerful songs showcasing Pearl Jam-esque acoustic guitars and vocals in part one, and frontman Phil Anselmo's high-pitched screams in part two. Number seven, That Smell, Leonard Skinner. One of this band's most well-known tunes, this song talks about a man who abuses drugs to the point where his life is on the line. More specifically, the song is aimed at Leonard Skinner guitarist Gary Rosington, whose abuse of drugs and alcohol got to the point where he crashed his new car in a tree and a house. This led to drugs and alcohol being banned from Leonard Skinner's tour, and the band fined Rossington for making them postpone their tour. Number 6, Mr. Brownstone, Guns N' Roses. Did I 
Although the title of the song references a slang name for heroin, it's most likely the name of a theoretical dealer, as heroin addiction was a problem for the members of this band at an early point in their career. In fact, frontman Axl Rose sings about how the band members would inject themselves with heroin right before shows. Luckily for them, and for us, we find out by the end of the song that Axel has stopped taking heroin cold turkey. Number 5. The Needle and the Damage Done. Neil Young. I caught you knocking at my cellar door. I love you, baby, can I have some more? Written about the drug overdose of one of Neil Young's bandmates in Crazy Horse, who had problems with heroin despite Young trying to save him from his addiction, this song is about the dangerous effects heroin will have on you. Gone, gone, the damage done. A short song that clocks in at just over two minutes, Young has also said the song was inspired by great musicians that people never got to see because of heroin leading to their downfall. I seen the needle and the damage done A little part of it in everyone But every junkie's like a set in the sun Number 4, Under the Bridge Red Hot Chili Peppers. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. The proverbial bridge in this song is where Chili Peppers frontman Anthony Kiedis sings about going to buy and use drugs as he struggled with the loss of guitarist Hillel Slovak, who also inspired their song Knock Me Down. Kiedis and Slovak both struggled with heroin addiction, however, the frontman came out luckier than his bandmate when Slovak overdosed in 1988. Although it was a departure from their usual funk-heavy rock sound, it almost went to number one on the Billboard charts in the States, and is still a staple on rock radio. Number 3, Hurt, Nine Inch Nails, Johnny Cash. The original version by Nine Inch Nails was emotional and extremely personal to begin with, but the man in black would take it on nine years later and bring its impact to a whole new level. And you could have it all. The song talks about regret as well as drug addiction, which both Trent Reznor and Johnny Cash struggled with. Cash's already stirring cover would be made even more surreal by its music video, which showed the country music legend frail and clearly on his last legs. I will keep myself. I would find a way. Number two, Master of Puppets, Metallica. Besides having one of the most iconic intros for any metal song ever, this track is also one that talks vividly about drugs controlling you and taking over your life, with those drugs being the proverbial puppet master. The song was inspired from when frontman James Hetfield saw people abusing drugs at a party in San Francisco, and includes lyrics about chopping your breakfast on a mirror.
even with its gritty lyrics, it's gone down as one of the all-time greatest heavy metal songs. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Trucks don't work, they just make you worse. But I know I'll see your face again. He was a bulletproof. He shot himself a final round. Now he's got a monkey. He's got a monkey in his body. It's on his back, it's in the night. Number one, the pusher, Steppenwolf. Here and now I smoked a lot of grass. Oh Lord, I popped a lot of pills. Although a dealer and a pusher of hard drugs are considered by some people to be one and the same, the song discusses the differences between the two in the clearest way possible. But the pusher don't care. If you live or if you die. More specifically, frontman John Kay describes the pusher as being someone who's only after your hard-earned cash without caring at all for whether or not the drugs he sells you kills you, as opposed to a dealer who can sell you a lot of sweet dreams. A dealer! For a little child, he'll sell you lots of sweet dreams. Do you agree with our list? Which anti-drug song is your favorite of all time? God damn, the pusher! With new top 10s published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.